Hello and welcome to today's um, Beginners Yoga for Relaxation class. So today's class is all going to be sitting down. Um, you can even do this class in bed in the morning or even in the evenings if you wanted to. Um, you don't need any fancy gear, so just roll out of bed, do it in bed, um, do it on the floor, do it on a mat if you want to. So I created this video just to be accessible for anyone and everyone. So it's important that you really listen to your body and don't push yourself too far. But just doing some gentle stuff, but still really listen to your body and just come from a place of integrity. Good, so starting off today then, when you're just coming into a comfortable seat and that means something different for everyone else. So it can be cross-legged, one foot in front of the other, um, stretching out, kneeling down, whatever feels comfortable to you. So really check in with your body. And once you're there, just bring your head over your heart, head over your pelvis. Good, and bring your shoulders up to your ears and releasing your shoulder blades down your back. Good, then closing your eyes here. Taking a few deep breaths and just arriving on the mat. Don't worry at all where your hands are, just place them and just leave them where they are pretty much because you will be hopefully in a nice comfortable place. Maybe tucking your chin in a little bit, just lengthening through the back of your neck. And really arriving on the mat. Letting anything that has happened so far today completely go, forgetting anything that you may have to do after the class. Just really being in the moment, in the here and now. Good, and whenever a thought pops into your mind, just acknowledge that thought and then letting it go again. It's completely natural for thoughts to pop up. But just come back to your in and exhales, just concentrating on those. Continue sitting nice and tall, so maybe just checking in with your posture here for a second and see if your head is still over your heart, heart over your pelvis. Good, and from here, just keeping your eyes closed and then inhaling both arms over your head. If you can, stretch your arms out to the side and really make a, take up a lot of space here. Bring the palms together over your head and then on your exhale, bring your hands through the midline down again. Just keep focusing inwards here. Good, a few more times, inhaling your arms over your head, stretching through your side body, shoulders away from your ears. Palms together and on your exhale, bring your hands through the midline down, keeping the length in the side body. Good, a couple more times. Inhaling it up. Bring the palms together and exhaling your hands through the midline down again. Good, last one. Inhaling your arms over your head, really stretching. And exhaling your hands down. Good, then releasing your arms and hands down, just wherever they're falling, blinking your eyes open. Good, then from here, bring your right hand onto the mat, either on your fingertips or on your palm. Just make sure that your side body is nice and long, so both of them. Keep grounding through both sitting bones, shoulders away from your ears. Inhaling your left arm up to the ceiling, and on your exhale, moving over to the right. Good, shoulders away from your ears. You might place your hand, your palm onto the mat now. Shoulders away, maybe opening your heart up to the ceiling a little bit, making sure that you keep grounding through your sitting bones. So if you're on a bed right now, obviously the bed, the mattress will give, a, give in a little bit. So maybe come up a little bit, just to make sure that you actually keep grounding down. And then from here, just checking with your body and see if you're holding any tension, especially sort of your thighs, or right your knees, if your knees are coming up, maybe softening through your core, and then on your exhale, slowly coming back up, dropping that left hand down, inhaling your right arm up, and over into your side stretch. Good, again, you can come with your hand onto the palm, shoulders away from your ears, keep grounding through both sitting bones. Again, I'd rather have you slightly further up and actually have the length in the side body and sort of collapsing down. 
And then bring your head and your neck in line with your spine. So making sure that you're not sort of having a really crooked neck. Good. Again, checking in with your body. See where you're holding tension. If you can release any tension, soften through your body. Good. And then on your next exhale, slowly coming back up, dropping that hand back down. Good. And then from here, bring your right hand onto your left knee, left hand behind you. Don't worry about the left and right too much. We're doing both sides anyway. Then inhale, opening through the front of your body, engaging through your core, so pulling your navel to your spine. And then on your exhale, gently looking over your left shoulder. So making sure here that you're not actually pulling yourself around with the strength in your arms and hands. So just let it come from your core and your exhale. Sitting up nice and tall. Again, just making sure that you're not holding any tension, especially in your legs. So technically here, you can pick up your hands and you stay where you are rather than flinging back. Because we don't want to over twist our spine. And then just one more breath here. Good, exhale, slowly releasing back to center. Bring your left hand onto your right knee, right hand behind you. Again, inhale, opening th through the front of your body, engaging through your core, and on your exhale, looking over your right shoulder. Again, just a gentle twist here. Making sure you keep the integrity of your upper body and you're not collapsing down. So again, you know, if you want to look forward rather than looking over your right shoulder, that's absolutely fine. Really check in with your body here. There's so many different things. As long as you don't pull yourself around, that's all we want. They're not pulling around. Good, just one more breath here. And then on your exhale, slowly releasing back to center. Good. If you just need to adjust the way that you're sitting, feel free to do that now. And if not, just change, if you're sitting cross-legged or one foot in front of the other, just change the cross of your leg. So that may feel really weird, um, but because we tend to go into certain positions exactly the same way. So changing the cross of the legs, is really important just to keep your body nice and even as well. So I know you may, if you're not used to it, it may feel really, really weird, go with it. Stay there, just go with it. See what comes up for you. And then maybe, depending on what comes up for you, it might be actually quite a nice idea for you afterwards to journal as well. Good, and again, bring your head over your heart, heart over your pelvis. Bring the palms together in your heart center. So we're gonna be doing a little flow with our hands and arms now. So on your exhale, dropping your chin into your chest, bowing the head down. And then bring your hands around your head so that your hands meet again behind your back or not behind your back, but behind your neck. Then on your inhale, stretching both arms over your head. Exhale, bring your hands back down to your side. And bring your hands together in your heart center again. Good again. On your exhale, dropping your chin into your chest. Bring your hands around the neck. Palms meet. Inhale your arms over your head. Exhale, bring your hands down to your side. And inhale your arms or your hands back together again. Get a couple more times. Exhale, bring your chin into your chest, hands behind your head. Inhaling it up, really stretching here. Exhale, bring your arms on hands down to your side. And inhale your arms or your hands, palms back together in your heart center. On your exhale, dropping your chin into your chest, bring your hands behind your back. Inhale your arms over your head, really stretching. Exhale, bring your hands down to your side. Inhale your palms back together in your heart center. Good, and just releasing your arms down again. And again, just checking in with your legs here, see how they're feeling, what they're doing. Good, then bring your right elbow in front of you, right fingertips pointing up to the ceiling. And then with your left arm, wrap it underneath and around. So really check in with your body here, see where you are. So the outside of your hands can meet, or the palms can meet. So either you have it outside or the palms. There is no right or wrong. So it's, it's really just checking in with your body and what feels comfortable. 
And then no matter where you are, releasing your shoulder blades down your back, sitting nice and tall. So make sure that you keep your head over your heart, heart over your pelvis, and that you're not collapsing down here. Or even arching through your back. So really just keep in line. And then inhaling your arms over your head as far as it feels comfortable. There is no right or wrong here, so check in with your body. And then on your exhale, releasing it back down, maybe closing your eyes and just really focusing inwards. Inhaling it over your head. And then on your exhale, releasing your hands back down. We're going to do this one more time on this side. Inhaling your arms over your head. And exhaling it back down. Good, then releasing your arms, rolling your shoulders one way. And the other way. So maybe feeling the crunch in your shoulders. I certainly always do. And bring your left elbow this time in front of your left fingertips up to the ceiling. And wrapping your right arm underneath and around. So again, either the outside of your hands meet or the palms meet. There is no right or wrong. Shoulder blades down your back. Sitting nice and tall, maybe closing your eyes. Inhaling your arms over your head. And exhaling them back down. Good again. Inhaling it over your head. Really checking in here with your body. And exhaling it back down. Good. Last one. Inhaling it up. And exhaling it back down again. You're then releasing your arms. Again, rolling your shoulders one way. And the other way. Good. And then from here, start stretching your legs out in front of you. So get them straight out, really grounding through your sitting bones. Whilst I'm just moving slightly further back so you can actually see me properly. Good. Then again, bring your head over your heart, heart over your power. So not leaning back, not leaning forward. Engage through your core, so pulling your navel to your spine and keep it there, so keep that engaged. Push through your heels so that all ten toes pointing up to the ceiling. Then from here, inhaling your arms over your head and then on your exhale, with a straight back, start folding over your legs here, just going as far as it feels comfortable with a straight back and then releasing your hands down onto the mat, legs, toes, depending where you are here. If you automatically, or if you need to, bend through your knees, there is nothing wrong with that. Just check in with your body what it needs. And that's the most important thing here. Keeping your head and your neck in line with your spine. Keep pushing your chest out, and that just means that your back keeps nice and straight. Good, so keeping that core engaged. If you lost that engagement, just engage it again. And if you want to, as an option, in on your exhale, you can just inch down a little bit further every time. So you can actually walk your hands down by your side to actually go further down. However, make sure that you're not using your strength in your arms to pull you down. Check in with your hamstrings because they may get quite stretched here. So depending on how, how your hamstrings are, just make sure that you're not overstretching them. Because that might quite hurt potentially. Good, just a few more breaths here. Good, and then on your next exhale, slowly walking your hands back up again. Good, then bring the soles off the feet onto the mat, knees pointing up to the ceiling. And then bring your right foot underneath the left leg, bring your right heel on the outside of that left sitting bone. So your right knee is either pointing forward or up to the side and that's purely due to your body shape. So see where you are and then depending on where your right knee is, this is kind of dependent on where the left foot goes. So your left foot either stays on the inside of that right knee or you're stepping it over. Now if you're stepping it over on the outside of that right knee, make sure that you keep grounding through both sitting bones. And then also, I just want you to check in here with your body and see if this actually feels comfortable. So I can quite easily bring the left foot over on the, on the outside of that right knee. I'm grounding down through both sitting bones. 
I just don't feel comfortable. It doesn't feel that great for me in my body. So really check in with your body rather than thinking, oh, I can't step over, so I need to do that. No. Check in with your body what you need, what feels best. So if you can step it over, try that for a moment, and then bring your foot back and see what actually feels better in your body. There is, you know, that is the most important thing, just really listen to your body. And then from here, bring your left hand behind you just to support you and just to push your chest out again, so push straight back. Good, then inhale your right arm over your head, and on your exhale, bring your right elbow on the outside of that left knee, sitting nice and tall, and then looking over your left shoulder. Again, just like we did in the beginning, don't use your arms to twist you around. Let that purely come from your core and then from your spine. Sitting nice and tall, and then also noticing if your right knee has come up. If it has, just releasing it down. If you, hold, if you notice that you're holding your breath, you might be too far in the twist. So just come out a bit. Again, there is nothing wrong in looking forward or to the side. You don't have to look to the back. Just see what your natural um, twist is here and then stay there. And again, don't use your elbow to twist you around. Good, then on your next exhale, slowly releasing back to center, releasing the sole of the right foot back onto the mat. And I'm bringing the left foot underneath the right leg, bringing the left heel on the outside of your right sitting bone. Again, your left knee is either pointing forward or out to the side. And this may well be different to what just happened on the other side. So don't compare it to what, what happens on the other side. Good, then with the right foot, either keep it on the inside, or again, you can step it over. If you're stepping it over, just make sure you keep grounding through your sitting bones. Again, here, just check in. If you can step it over, check in how that feels. And then move, again, maybe bring the foot back. Bring your right hand behind you to support you. Making sure your chest is pushed out so that your back is nice and straight. Inhale your left arm over your head. And then on your exhale, bring your left elbow on the outside of that right knee, sitting nice and tall, looking over your right shoulder. Again, making sure you're not um, using your elbows, your arms to twist you around. Soften through the left leg. So again, if you notice that that left knee is coming up, just releasing it back down. We tend to, and I notice it myself when I do it, when I twist around, that left knee comes automatically up. So just release it down. And again, that may need, mean that you come out of the twist a little bit. And that's absolutely fine. So really just checking in what feels good for your body, what it needs. And at different times when you practice this, this may well be different. One day you might be more comfortable looking forward, the next day you might be absolutely comfortable looking backwards. And it also depends um, when you're actually practicing, if you're practicing in the mornings or in the evenings. So really just check in with your body. Here, just one more breath here. And then on your exhale, slowly releasing back to center. Good, now bring the soles of the feet together here. And then just let the knees come out to the side. So the one thing that you don't want here is a twisting feeling in your knees. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, good. If you know what I'm talking about, you have a twisting feeling, come out of it, maybe stretch your legs out and see if you can come into it again without the twisting feeling. Don't go into this with a twisting feeling in your knee and potentially in your hips. So really, again, just check in with your body. And from here, just holding onto your ankles. Inhale, opening through the front of your body, shoulders away from your ears. Good. And then with a straight back on your exhale, engaging through your core and folding over your legs as far as it feels comfortable with a straight back. And then once you've met your edge, just rounding through your back and just letting your head and your upper body completely go. So your elbows can be on the inside or on the outside. Just letting everything go, maybe closing your eyes. Good. Just letting everything go here.
See if you can maybe soften through any part of your body. Just do a few more breaths here. Good, and on your next exhale, slowly coming back up again. And then coming into a comfortable seat. Again, whatever that means to you, if it's cross-legged, one foot in front of the other, kneeling down, legs stretched out, soles of the feet on the mat, knees pointing out, it doesn't really matter. Just as long as you are comfortable. And then again, bring your head over your heart, heart over your pelvis, placing your hands anywhere where it feels comfortable, and bring your shoulders up to your ears, and then releasing your shoulder bits down. So really opening up through the front of your body here. And again, closing your eyes. Taking a few deep breaths, maybe breathing out through the mouth. And then just noticing where the energy is in your body and how this practice has maybe affected you in your body. Maybe noticing any differences, maybe just subtle differences to how you're feeling now compared to how you felt at the beginning of the class. Just a few more breaths here. Good, then on your next exhale, bring the palms off your hands together in your heart center. Tuck your chin in slightly, lengthening through the back of your neck. Bring your elbows out to the side, making sure your shoulders are away from your ears. Good, pushing the palms together here, creating a little bit of energy. And then sealing our practice today, bowing our heads down. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, see you then. Bye.